Hello everybody, today I'm going to do section 3.2 in geometry. So in this question, they tell us that this uh, triangle has a vertex of A. What can we do to prove that, isos that it is isosceles? So we know that in an isosceles triangle, the angles like in 1 and 3 should be congruent. And AM should be perpendicular to BC. Okay, here it's the same like the last question, 1 and 3 are congruent, but the thing is, is that in PR, it's equal to 2MR or 2MP. This is because, because they are perpendicular, it makes them, it makes them um, half. Like, you know, you know how QM is half of PR? Yeah, that's, that's what I, it's trying to say. Okay, in this question, the rule is that HL is equal to half of the hypotenuse or the altitude, the median, the angle bisector, whatever. It's half of uh, the hypotenuse. So how do we know which, to what do we make it equal to and to what do we sub subtract or add or divide? So here, by telling us that AM is half of BC, it proves to us that it's a 90 degree angle. So 2X plus 44 is equal to 90. Then you do it, you'll get 2X is equal to, is equal to 46 and then X is equal to 23. Here it's very easy. Okay, here you add the both, both of the uh, equations. So it's going to become 5x minus 10 equals 290. Then you move over 10 to the other side, you'll get 5x is equal to 100, x, and then x is equal to 220. Okay, here they want the length of KM, which means we are going to use K, LK and LM. So we are going to make them equal to each other and then move Y to one side and then the numbers to the other. And now Y is equal to 8. So then KM is 8 plus 21, which, is, which means KM is equal to 29.
Okay, so we know that the median is half of the hypotenuse, which means y minus 8 is equal to 11. So then y is equal to 90. Here they already gave us half of the hypotenuse, which is x. So then 5x minus 48 is equal to x. Take x to one side and then 48 to the other side. You get 3x is equal to 48, which is, um, or uh, yeah, 3x is equal to 48. And then x is equal to 16. Here it is the same like question one. So here they told us that A is a vertex, which means one and three are congruent, and AM is perpendicular to BC. First, we have to find y, so we can do the second equation. This is the equation 8x plus 4y on top. So y is equal to 12. Then, because because 3y equals to 12. Yeah, so then y equals to 4. And then 8x plus 4y e over 2 equals to 12. So then take over 2, it's divide. So take it to the other side, it will become times. So then 8x plus 16 equals to 24. Take plus 16 to the other side, it will become 8x equal to 8. So then x is equal to 1. Here it's just like question number two. So here it's a vertex, so the same thing. Three and four are congruent, and it has to be isosceles. So then in this in this part BC, it's either BC equals to 2MC or CM, or BC is equal to 2MB or BM. The answer is SP is equal to SQ is equal to SR. Why? It's because we know that half of the hypotenuse is, um, sorry, we, it's because we know that SP is half of the hypotenuse, which is equal, uh, which is equal to each other. So that's why. Here it's SQ is equal to SR because again, we said SP should be equal to half of the hypotenuse, which makes both of them congruent. And it's that's QP perpendicular to RP. Okay, here it says that uh, QM, which is the which is the altitude or or the median, is four x plus eight, whereas PR the entire thing is ten x plus four. So we divide ten x plus four 
to 2, it becomes 5x plus 2. So then we take x to one side, take the numbers to the other side, you will get minus x is equal to minus 6. Cancel the minuses, it will become 6.